What's on guys? Jay Hoyt back with you today. Welcome back to NHL 24. We're back on online shootout. Relatively quick video for you guys today. As we entered into this offseason, there was a lot of question marks about the Vegas Golden Knights, right? There was a lot of pending UFAs. There was a lot of you know, guys that were most likely not going to be with the team this year due to, you know, a variety of reasons, right? Whether they wanted, you know, kind of an elevated role, whether they wanted, you know, a ton of money, you know, whether they just didn't have the cap space to re-sign them. There was one player I was pretty sure that Vegas would re-sign, and that is Jonathan Marshall, so, right? So, he eventually ended up signing with the Nashville Predators in a five-year uh, twenty-seven point five million dollar contract. I think that's like five point five million, which is crazy, right? So he is thirty-three years old. I think when that contract expires, I think he's going to be um, thirty-nine. So that's old, right? I mean, for hockey, that's kind of old. So you now you're wondering, right? Why did he not sign with Vegas? So you know, we found an article over here from Sportsnet. I think this is from Canada, actually. And he goes into, in this article, of what kind of went through, you know, everything going on. So, um, on a podcast, it, he said he picked up the phone himself in the final days before free agency and called the Golden Knights management after his agent, Pat Brisson, was unable to land an extension. So, how, right? You've been loyal here. You want a Stanley Cup here. You're a big piece to this puzzle. And he's, it's not like he's asking for like $10 million, but like still, like what's going on here? So uh, Jonathan goes on to say, in Vegas, I called the GM, Kelly McCrinnon, as well as the president, George McPhee, on Saturday. And he's like, what's going on? Uh, what do you guys want to do? I need to know. Are you guys actually letting me go for real? Uh, and then Sunday showed up and nothing was budging, he said. So Marshall so said that, the, that he was asking for a four-year contract. Uh, but the Golden Knights were offering three. So now before we get into the rest of this article, right? So he wanted a four-year deal, right? So he's 33 years old. A four-year deal takes him to 37, potentially 38, and then maybe signing a one- or two-year deal at that point, depending on, you know, how he's feeling, health, and, you know, all of those other, you know, factors that go into you know, the later portions of people's careers. But, okay, so he's asking for four years, this is. And I'm assuming around, like, five or so million dollars. Right? He's coming off of, um, was it five million dollars? Five point something million dollars? Six and a half something? I don't remember what he was making last year. But the question is, is, like, was that really that big of a deal? Now, this is what I will never understand with, you know, players in these professional leagues is is like my ask was let's just say it's five million dollars for four years let's just say right and someone's offering me three years and it's like okay in my opinion right in my mind if it is the vegas golden knights in this case so i'm thinking okay what do i want as a player right do i want to win do i want to be the star do i want to make the most money and in my case, like, I'm, I want to win. I want to be a winner. I want to win, the, in this case, I want to I win the Stanley Cup. I want to play um, a decent role, and like, I don't want to be, like, a bench player. I want to be a significant player for this team. And in this case, you're you're getting basically a three-year deal at, let's just say, $5 million. It's still $15 million. You get, let's just say, three-quarters of that, and I don't know what taxes are out there, but $10-plus plus million dollars. Like, that's pretty good to me. But then you're thinking, like, okay, I'm trying to win. And if we're offering three, he was asking four years. Is that extra year really that worth leaving this team over? Like, is it really worth it? So now, okay, so somehow, some way, an extra year on the contract is the deal breaker. So now you're asking for four, they're offering three. Now Nashville comes in and says, hey, we'll give you a five-year contract for $27.5 million. And it's like, okay, now you got five years. Now you're going to be 39 when this expires. Potentially your last contract. Maybe you sign a one-year contract at the very end of that. 
And then what's the big deal? Like, why did you not want to sign? Because, like, was the money there, right? Was the similar money situation there was all about money? Because you're playing number one uh, line. Like, you're on the number one line with Jack Eichel on a good team that's a playoff team that's always been very close to winning, if not winning it, right? It's right there. You won it. So did you want to win? Did you try to take some of the stress off of being there? I mean, there's so many questions that you could have put in there. But then also this article goes on to say he's obviously the all-time leader in goals and points. He won the Conn Smythe, helping Vegas win the trophy. Uh, obviously have been, uh, you know, a, a top force ever since they entered in the league. Uh, but of course, that meant that some of the, the fan favorites have left, including Marc-Andre Fleury, Nate Schmidt, uh, who went and kind of did nothing afterwards. Um, Alex Tuck and Riley Smith. And now he is gone, and he said the club's lack of loyalty is necessary, but still difficult to deal with as a player. He goes on to say there's definitely no loyalty, but at the same time, you're there to win. I don't mind that mindset personally, Marcia So said. Obviously, I'm disappointed that I left. I didn't have any real things to consider, and that's what disappointed me. Uh, I thought I had done good enough in the past seven years for them uh, that I could deserve uh, what I deserved. I'm, I wasn't asking for something outrageous. I was just trying, I was not trying to steal the bank, but it's like if you move on and they're going to have a really good team and the only, uh, and only the future will tell us if they were right or wrong. So at the end of the day, like what was the deal breaker? Cause obviously they offered you a contract. So they wanted you right. Three year deal. Let's just say if it was 5 million, 5.5 million, 5.2, 5 million, somewhere in that range, I would assume now, if it was like three years, three point something million, and you really wanted, you know, the more money, then like, you know, whatever. But if that was the biggest deal breaker, was a one year difference off of your ask for your contract. I don't know. Like you're talking about loyalty, but yet also you went and signed with Nashville for a bigger contract, a longer contract, and didn't even like stick around to to like do that so i don't know what it was obviously nobody will ever know you know what the official kind of reason that he left was but obviously that's a big hole for vegas to fill and you know nashville gets a really good player you know that is kind of on the on the second half of his career that you know i hope he does well but at the same time there's a reason why there's a vegas uh you know thing back there there's a reason i'm a vegas supporter we're sporting vegas so I don't know. It just always uh, is mind boggling how players always leave, you know, due to a contract situation. It's like, okay, here's some money. Here's years. Here's your contract. Here's what we're visioning for this year of like playoff, you know, you know, we're expecting to go deep in the playoffs or, you know, we're, we're rebuilding or, you know, whatever the case is, you kind of know what the deal is entering into that team or into talks. And if one year was the only thing different about staying with Vegas and going to Nashville or any other team, I don't know if that's really worth it, but that's Jonathan's call. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button down below if you haven't yet, or if you're brand new here, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one.